What's up guys, Keith Kelfus here. So we're at the 2023 Equip Expo, Expo in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. And the parking lot was totally packed. If you're not here, <laughs> I mean, this is the first time I've had to park. Dude, it's packed, it's the biggest ever. So if you've never been here, first of all, you gotta go here. I gotta make it over to the Jobber booth, 21098 is the booth number and I'm doing a presentation talking about how to run your business remotely, also using Jobber, right? And I'm gonna try to record it so I can share it with you. But basically, it's like if you have employees you can trust, first of all, you gotta go upstream, because I didn't believe that I could do this stuff. Like, I'm like, how could you run your business without you being there, it's impossible. Well, it's, you gotta have people you can trust. Then everything is much easier. But anyways, uh, Jabber is doing a discount from now until October 31st, 2023, where you get a huge discount, like a 50% off your first three months. I'll put a link in the description below. So if you need a CRM to run your business on, which is a customer relationship management software, does a billing, invoicing, everything, then Jabber is what I've been using for like four years, and you can get a huge discount, link below. And remember, it expires, but you can still, uh, get a discount with my link always so get the big discount at the link below or go to getjobber.com slash kelfus if you happen to see this video after October 31st all right let's go landscaping ninjas bro tell me when you started your business and then when you went full-time and what you just told me about not running out of uh, the money and all this I'm Denver with Leg legacy land pros yeah. um, started my business as a part-time side hustle in 2015 um, and I have to edit some of this <laughs> you said something about you told yeah. your wife or something so, mind blank so started my business in 2015 and worked part-time until 2020 and decided to go full-time was sick and tired of working two three jobs and told my wife i would start the business and we'd run this thing till i ran out of money and then i'd get a real job i'm in my 20s i figured hey i i have till my 30s to figure it out and so far it's 2023 almost 2024 and haven't run out of money yet haven't so, run out of money yet it's <laughs> making more <laughs> money have, eight employees and two maintenance crews, a hardscape crew, so, yep. And you started with nothing. nothing. You just built yep. it on the side, bro. Yep, yep, started I with an it. F-150. Fuck yeah, yep. me too. <laughs> nice, to nice to meet you, man. Yeah. All right, yep, nice to meet you. It. Later. Look, we got Josh Jones. How you doing, man? Bro, what's the name of your business? Rolling View Lawn Care out of Richmond, Kentucky, about 90 miles away. Um, been in business, like I said, 10 years and got about 130 customers, so. I love it. Now, do you do lawn care and landscaping, or what do you do? Yeah, that too. I just recently invested $25,000 in a stump grinder, so that's my next thing. I got tired of renting one and yeah, realized I needed to invest in one, and that was my biggest purchase for the year, so I'm kind of pushing that a little bit. So. Uh, dude, stump grinding. Um, it's crazy like like a huge like say six foot diameter maple tree yeah. where in the past it'd be maybe three four hundred bucks i'm seeing eight to fourteen hundred dollars to thoroughly grind these bigger stumps yeah i mean probably so, probably i mean honestly dude i'd probably be like on the fifteen hundred eighteen hundred dollar job it depends on if they want to clean up the clean up the uh, okay the mulch or not you know so i don't i do it by the size of the job i don't see how people price it by the inch because you're grinding yeah stumps that are you know you got roots you got roots all the way out that are trailing four yeah, or five feet way out so yeah. how do you price it by the inch when you got to grind 15 feet it doesn't make sense to me it seems like you have to quote it in person too so you yeah yeah well always do that yeah <laughs> always do that don't don't ever quote something over the phone or through a picture man you can't I do love that. What, you know that i love what he's saying <laughs> i've so i've narrowed down my business a little bit and the stuff that i have to be there it's it's uh it has to be like a certain dollar amount for me to go but with stumps it makes perfect sense what you're saying because 
it's over a thousand bucks to do these bigger stumps. Well, I mean, my minimum is a hundred dollars. I'm mm -hmm. not getting, I'm not taking it out off the trailer for less for a hundred dollars. I yeah. mean, the teeth on that thing are twenty dollars a piece. Yep, so. exactly. And Even if it's part of another job, right? Even if it's a little tiny stuff. Yeah, it, minimums hundred dollars. It don't matter if it's two inches or you know about eight inches. But if it's over probably eight or ten inches, I'm getting two hundred dollars a stump. Absolutely, so. yeah. So. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet right. you. Later. Bro, Josh Gardens. How long you been in business, bro? Um, it's been 13 years now. <laughs> Same here. What's the name of your uh, business and where are you from? It's Gardens Lawn Care and yep. I'm in Charleston, West Virginia. Are you doing lawns and landscaping or just lawns? Mostly or? just lawns. Yeah? What is, what's the thing that has, I got a, a question for you. I have fallen in love with my business over and over again. What's something that makes you fall in love with your business? Where you like, I fucking love this, bro. And just, you, you do the work and you see what you do. And it could be something that looks horrible, then you do what you do and it looks beautiful. I love it, bro. It's nice to see you again, man. Nice seeing you. I'm going over to the Jobber booth. I got a presentation at 3 p.m. talking about running your business remotely with Jobber. It's nice good to see seeing you, bro. you, man. Nice to see you, Alex Kirby tried What's up? What's up? Bro, I've been seeing you all over the internet. You've been seeing me on there? I like that tag. Where'd you get that? Mulch mate? Your boy Nick? Oh, they're just giving away. Yeah. Ah, okay. Nice. You gonna link up with you tomorrow? Yes. Rally? I'll be there. I'll see you. Nice to see you. 100,000 likes right there. Hey, wait, what's your YouTube channel? Oh, YouTube is uh, Green Industry Guy. Green Industry Green Guy. Industry. You have a podcast too? Yeah, Down to Business Podcast. I recognize you, man. What's going on? <laughs> I'm already vlogging. Oh, man. Are you? What? Monty hey. Harris. Yes, yes. Dude, I've watched Nice a to meet lot. you, sir. It's my dad, Milton. Nice to meet you, sir. I've watched a lot of your videos, dude. Ah, man, I'm gonna have to get with Are you in the army for how long? 22 years. Thank you for your service. No problem. Proud to serve. Proud to serve. Thank you so much. Yeah. Retired 2015. I'm still going strong. I love it. Thank you. I'm very excited to welcome Keith Kalfas. He's, he's here, very much a friend of Jobber, and he's going to be talking to you today a little bit about running your business remotely and kind of what he does and, uh, you know, just giving you advice and tips and doing what he does best. And then Ethan here will take you on a little demo of Jobber. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll pass it off to Keith. Give him more war a warm welcome, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Good. Enjoying Equip Expo? Yeah. I've been coming here since what? Well, who has been here this year, first year? All right, nice. Who's been here more than five years in a row? Ah, okay. <laughs> Give this guy a round of applause. <laughs> I've been, this is like my ninth year here. So I'm gonna talk about running your business remotely. Nice. And I'll just get right into the meat and potatoes. I tried to run my business remotely without me being there on my like my five-year wedding anniversary and so I told the guys we're on this pretty big job site here's everything that needs to be done you know what needs to be done well actually that time I came back and they did it all right because it was my wedding anniversary and I was impressed but I have I have left my job site and come to places like this and I told the guys what to do and I come back and everything's messed up even if I had to like leave for the day to do something personal, I'd come back and, and everything I would explain would be totally messed up. And I started thinking about how all the frustration of <laughs> why, why can't I get these employees to do what I'm asking them to do and I'm giving them the tools that they need and it's a common thing that I hear employees, you can't get them to show up. If you can find them, they're always sick on Mondays or they don't care. And then I started reading books like Who not how by Dan Sullivan and top grading by Brad Smart. And I don't have a huge landscape business. The most I've had was three trucks and I'm in one of the trucks doing quotes. So I've scaled, I've, I've scaled a little, go back down, scaled a little, all the way back down to just me and one guy. Then five guys, then me and one guy, then three guys. And I started reading these books and getting around other entrepreneurs with multiple six and seven figure businesses and learning about their seats on the bus and it's all about getting the right people in the right seats. So I finally got so frustrated, I was like, I can't even hire anybody unless they fit all this criteria and we have phone interview, uh, an actual interview in person, then an interview on the job site. And I have them sign 16 pages of documents before they can even get started. 
like background check, drug screen, DMV driving record check, I-9, uh, uh, W-4, uh, non-compete agreement, social media, because we do a lot of videos. And if they couldn't follow those basic instructions and send them for a drug test and pay for it all, then an employee training system, which I learned from all these other guys that I, I didn't know how to do any of this crap. I learned it from them and I got so frustrated that I started doing that and teaching them and now we can get a guy up and running and knowing what to do and be fully competent on a job site within four to five hours doing that specific task. Trimming these shrubs or trimming these shrubs on a ladder or ripping out and installing new plants because we have a training system. So there's something to say, uh, you always inspect what you expect. And when I started inspecting everything and going back and being more of a coach and putting my hands behind my back and, and, and not being afraid to look another man in his eyes and say, hey, can you go back and do that thing? I was so afraid of confrontation and I read, started reading books called Crucial Conversations. And there's another book called Difficult Conversations. This is all in books. You read these books and they said where you'll be in five years is direct, directly correlated to the, the people you associate with, the books that you read, and the difficult conversations you're willing to have. I have stayed up all night and sweat, stressing about my landscaping business. What's up, T Green? Nice to see you. T Green Gert, what's up? And it was the books that helped tremendously. So now with the employee training system, me knowing I can sleep at night, that they have gone through a drug test and a background screen, and all these things that seem so hard, but they're simple once you just implement them. Now we can leave the job sites and I mean, it's just simple stuff because the right people are in the right seats. If they actually care, you can teach them how to do anything, but if they don't give a crap, you can try to teach them all day and it doesn't matter. So for me, it was finally to get to the point where I was like, I can't go through this pain anymore. When the pain of changing becomes less than the pain of staying the same, you'll change. Or you just keep dealing in the excuses. And so it's like, I started to get excited because now I can just leave a job site and come to places like this where I have guys out working in Michigan and I could just literally go and text the what's up, they'll send me pictures. We do use Jobber in the business for four years now. You can assign employees and send them everything. They can see exactly what needs to be done. So if I walk a property on a job site and I do a quote, I literally take my phone out and make a video and I'll go through step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step detail in the entire video of what needs to be done very clearly. I send them the video on a private YouTube channel and then everything is line item inside of Jobber where they can see um, all the line items of the job and if they're not assigned then I can text a screenshot to them Do they have any questions. And because we've narrowed our services, I used to be a jack of all trades where we did everything and the employees were confused and I could never ever leave a job site and run my business remotely because we had 20 different services. Now we order, now we offer two to three core services so it's like cookie cutter. They do the same thing over and over and over and over. They know all the properties. And now I can actually leave and run the business remotely. And it's easy. So one question you should ask yourself is, I learned this from Tim Ferriss, the author of the 4-Hour Workweek. What would this look like if it were easy? That combined with who, not how. Who do I need to find? Who can do this? And stop asking me, how am I going to do this? How in the hell am I going to do this? How in the hell am I going to do this? If I can't, if I'm already swamped doing all this right now, how am I going to handle any more? The question isn't how, the question is who can help me do this? And then he's like, well, I got to pay people more that will actually care. And you have to like raise the prices. So it's like, this is all a great thing. And it's like pretty incredibly exciting for me. And that's just what I wanted to say. That's how you run your business remotely with Jobber. We've been coming to the expo. Thank you. And I can just have a job site running and it's not a big deal. So you don't have to be there. You just have to show them exactly what to do and trust them and let go. Stop being a control freak. So there you go. <laughs> you. Over the past few years, I maybe spend an hour to two hours a week on the actual job sites working. And actually, this year I'm working more because I can't stand not working. I like the physical workout. So I'll go just to get a workout and then leave. Or I'll go like make a big mess and leave so then the guys can just keep working. Keith, change my life, man. As, as a control, you can tell
get it. Get it. Hey, hey. <laughs> now watch it. You took it. You got it. Russian. I was double booked. Double booked myself. I got to go to room B103 to meet lawn care rookie Naylor Taliaferro for this uh, sound check. Here it is. Alright, sweet. What's up, Jonathan Grant? Nice to meet you, bro. Hey. <laughs> Talking about the, the boundary, the, the wall, the door. See that extra 45 hours a week being put directly into the business and running like your hair is on fire. There's a saying I love. Are you running for your lunch or are you running for your life? All right, that was awesome. What's up? We just did the morning show. Now, gotta let the doggies out. Go potty. Out there. The donkeys are okay. No, I totally. Keith, I should have seen. These are good doggies. The doggies should doggies. They ruined it. No, it's okay. I was up when I was on stage with uh, Naylor. My dog, you went. Row, row, row. Yeah, yeah, I remember you were saying, then, like, go, go to Brian Vaughn right now, go to Keith Calfus. That's when I started watching she, YouTube videos. We was like, I was talking to you that day. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. That is what it started. You started, you started because you saw us. I started I, uh, myself just, because... Next morning, I just felt like... But I yeah, so, I go up there and I'm like, bro. What time I watching? Bro, what's your name and the name of your business? My name is Federico. I'm from Green Garden, and from Maryland. Maryland? Yeah. Green Garden? Yeah. Yes, sir. Nice yeah. to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. That was really good. All right, well, uh, our sponsor for today's event is Kohler. And Congratulations. My dude flew here All from right. Australia. We're down in three. Here we go. Yeah. Bro. Zero, Absolutely. Nine, zero. That's how we do it. Zero, nine, zero. Four flights. 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 Yeah, mate, I mean, this is what we're going to do. There's so many awesome okay. people here Zero, and so eight, many four. great things to see. It's a tiny Zero, market where you get compared to you guys. So to be able to see all the new products coming eight, out, and, you know, report back to all the guys back and we'll see what's going to come what in slowly, slowly, slowly. Maybe in a couple of years we'll see it ourselves. What's left? Is that the last so, one now? Yeah, it's just fantastic. One more. There's so oh much to see, so much to do, and so many amazing people. It's great to <laughs> meet so many people I've seen on YouTube for all these years. It's incredible. All right, last one. All right, uh, three eight zero. I like this. Guy. Three, two. Thank you. How are we doing? Doing a group photo with everybody. Sorry, I'm out.